Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me to be a part of your unique and wondrous experience today. So I'm going to shuffle you guys a crowner for your love reading this month. Let's see what's in store for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. What's going to go on in love for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Heart to Heart Conversations. I'm sensing somebody who's being brutally honest this month in April. I feel like somebody's had enough in a situation and I feel like Aries this month you're really going to be coming out and expressing something or someone's going to be coming out to you and expressing something from the heart. There's going to be something coming from the heart here. I'm hearing someone can't, get, can't let go of someone else. Someone cannot let go of someone else. The heart of your reading is new love. So I feel like maybe someone has a new love here, but they can't let go of another party. Someone can't let go of something or let go of someone. Maybe for some of you, you can't let go of your options, or this person can't let go of you, their options. Um, maybe you can't let go of something that someone did to you, or vice versa, something you did to someone. But I'm sensing that someone cannot let go here, even despite this new love. So I'm picking up different groups. Um, this will vary for each of you. I'm picking up that there's one group of Aries who has a new love and maybe there's somebody from your past that you've ended things with and maybe this person comes back around and says, you know, I miss you, I regret what I've done. Somebody really regrets what they've done. If you're dealing with an air sign, this person really regrets something that they've done to you. And I feel like they're really going to be expressing that this month, Aries. Somebody's going to come out and tell you the truth. They're going to come out and be really honest with you that they want a new love with you. Somebody wants to leave everything behind, leave everything in the past, and move forward and be empowered. Somebody feels like you empower them, Aries. But I'm sensing that this person tries to come back around. You've already found somebody new. Maybe you've moved on or, you know, maybe you've just, maybe you don't even have somebody new. Maybe you've just moved on with your life. Maybe you've found a new love for yourself, right? Because I do have the emperor here. So some of you are finding new love within yourself. For others of you, I pick up that this could be a new love with somebody that you've loved before. Um, but somebody can't let go of something that was happened that something that has happened in the past in this relationship. So maybe you're trying to move forward, move away from this betrayal, move away from this situation that caused a lot of anxiety, it caused a lot of fear, um, lots of negativity with this nine and ten of swords. And I see that you're trying to move away from that this month. You're trying to get um, to smoother waters, whether it's with this individual or without. But I do pick up that somebody's coming around and trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. Somebody wants a new love, and I think that's the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody's going to come through and want a new love. They really regret what they've done, Aries. Somebody really regrets what they've done. And, you know, this can be for non-romantic relationships, you know, friendships, work relationships, family dynamics, you know what I mean? It can go a lot of different directions, so just take it how it resonates. For some of you, it won't be like somebody wants to get back together with you, it's more like they just want to be in your life, like somebody just wants you around, whether it's as a friend or in, in their life in terms of family, but I feel like for some of you, it definitely is love. Yeah, somebody may have been looking at other options, shutting you out, or Aries, maybe you're shutting this person out right now. Because I'm hearing somebody's coming to you crying, Aries. Somebody is coming to you crying. If you're dealing with an air sign, I do feel like this person's going to be coming to you crying. Or an earth sign. I'm also picking up an earth sign. But I'm picking up very strong air energy here. So you could have these placements in your chart, or you could be dealing with somebody who has these placements in their chart. 
But like I said, I, I feel like you're blocking somebody out this month. You know, you're shutting them out. Maybe they've been trying to have a heart to heart with you, but I see you not paying attention. At least not right now. As the month goes on, you may decide to give them a chance to speak their mind and to talk, but I don't know if it's happening right now. Um, I do feel like somebody's going to be brutally honest in Aries. I think it might be you. Um, with this Emperor and this King of Swords, it's almost as if you're not holding back this time. Like, maybe you've held back many times before um, with certain things you've wanted to tell this person, but I don't see you holding back anymore. You're going for it. You're saying exactly what's on your mind. It may come off a little harsh, and it may be perceived as mean, but I, I feel like you're just being honest with somebody. You're just like, look, you've caused me a lot of pain. Why would I want to be with you? Why would I want to get back together with you? Um, why would I want to move forward with you when you've done this to me? Because someone was seeking other horizons. Like they were just looking, it's almost like that grass is greener mentality, right? Like somebody had the grass was greener mentality. Um, they were looking around and I just feel like that's kind of what caused this ending here. Um, for those of you who are in a new love, I, I do pick up that you may end up um, quitting on this lover, if I'm being quite honest. The only reason I say that is because I have the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords like this. So this is you looking at new opportunities, right? This, is represent, this represents an ending, right? An ending of a new love in order to seek new opportunities. So for some of you, you may have a love budding with someone um, and maybe this person is just not what you want, they're not your type, whatever. Um, I do sense you possibly ending this to go seek out your other options because I do pick up that you have other options, Aries. In fact, I think some of you have like three options um, and you're just kind of narrowing them down this month. Like I feel like you're really, really getting your priorities right. You know, you know what you want and you're going out there to find it. But you have this Three of Pentacles with the King of Swords. So for some of you, I feel like you've been very analytical in a situation. You've really been observing something and kind of sitting back and not really saying much. You know what I mean? You've just been kind of like looking at the situation for what it is. And I sense that you maybe picked up on some things that you wouldn't have if you wouldn't have been paying attention to this situation. Um, and you're starting to see things about maybe yourself or about other people that you need to kind of cut out. Um, you know, that kind of like trimming the fat, you know, that's what I'm seeing, like trimming all of those, like those toxic people, those toxic aspects of self and all of that stuff, like out of our lives in order to progress, in order to move forward. Um, I do see somebody cutting out a business partner. And if I'm being quite honest, I did do this reading yesterday, but my mic wasn't working. Um, so I had to redo it again today. Um, there was no audio in the video whatsoever and I didn't know until I was done recording, so kind of a pain but you know whatever everything happens for a reason but I did pick up that somebody was like doing kind of shady business practices so if this pertains to a business relationship I do feel like somebody's gonna come out and talk about some shady business practices there's like a boss or something like that who's being really shady um, I, I was hearing like under the table work you know what I mean um, kind of like cutting corners and all of that stuff. That's kind of what I was picking up with that energy. Um, so I do feel like somebody's going to be cutting out like a business partner or, you know, some kind of boss or something like that because of this, because of this kind of shady practice. But for others of you, I do feel like you are analyzing a situation. You may be, some of you may be in a love triangle or you may be dealing with somebody who's in a love triangle. I feel like you, Aries, are the tip of the triangle, yes. Some of you have a, a past air sign, that's what I'm picking up, and a new love. And this new love may be a little bit older than you, that's something that I'm seeing as well. And I feel like the past love, it's very interesting, this dynamic that I'm picking up here. Um, some of you, those of you who have two options, one of them is from your past, Possibly. Maybe not for all of you, but for some of you, one of them is from your past. And I pick up that it's a strong air sign placement. Um, this person may be very, very physically attractive. They might even like model or something like that. They might just be very, very, very attractive. And then there's kind of like a newer individual. Um, this new love that I pick up, like this new attraction that you have to somebody. They're a little bit older. Um, maybe even quite a bit older. For some of you, this is like a mentor or something like that, like somebody that's a little bit older than you. Um, I do pick up that 
there's like an attraction towards this individual, but I do feel like you may be cutting it short with this person to go look at your other avenues, other options, and all of that stuff. So I pick up like somebody very uh, somebody very attractive from your past, and then um, maybe this newer person isn't as attractive as your past person, but they have more to offer you like mentally. I feel like maybe this person um, has some kind of established career. Um, they're very thoughtful. They're very analytical. But I do feel like you will, if you have an air sign in your life, I do sense this person rushing back um, to try and maybe fix things or try to kind of get back together, you know, move forward. Um, but I'm not sure if you're going to take the offer. But there's definitely chemistry with somebody here, Aries. I'm picking up a very strong chemistry. Healing family issues. So like I said, this can pertain for some of you to your families friends even, just anyone who you consider family. I feel like somebody has daddy issues. That's what I'm picking up with this emperor. Somebody's very wishy-washy because of their daddy issues. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Like somebody goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, whether this is you or this is somebody in your life. Um, but I do pick up somebody has like issues with their, with their dad and that's kind of created issues in the relationship. So for somebody here, um, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, somebody needs to really, really heal things with their father. I pick up that it's a man. It's a male Aries um, who possibly has maybe an earth sign or a water sign father. Um, and I do pick up that you should forgive your father. You should at least try to forgive your father. And if you don't want a relationship for whatever reason with your father, that's fine. Um, but forgiveness is more for you, not for them. So maybe that's something you want to consider or this person wants to consider um, because it'll really affect your relationships um, for the negative if you continue to let this resentment or whatever you have, these feelings of coldness towards your father, um, if you let them fester. It's going to manifest and it's going to reflect in other relationships that you have. So you have to be very, very keen on the kinds of... Um, the kinds of issues that we've been blocking out. Because I feel like somebody feels very neglected. Um, somebody may have felt very fearful, very anxious, um, very insecure because of their father, because of the things that their father used to do. And it has created patterns in their relationships that reflect that same energy. Um, but that is what I'm seeing here, Aries. If you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to DM me or email me. All of my information will be in the description box below. And check out my other videos, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it resonated. You know, share this video with friends. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more readings. I have tons of readings on my channel. Um, zodiac signs, I do pick a cards, all of that stuff. Um, and I also do educational spiritual vlogs. So check that all out on my channel and I will see you later. Take care, Aries, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.